हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल बायोलॉजी रीडर अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज इम्यूनोग्लोबुलेंस आल्सो नोन एज एंटीबॉडीज इन टुडेज लेसन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इम्यूनोग्लोबुलेंस देयर स्ट्रक्चर एंड देयर टाइप्स सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फ्रेंड्स लेट्स बिगिन विद व्हाट आर इम्यूनोग्लोबुलेंस इम्यूनोग्लोबुलेंस आर लार्ज ऑर्गेनिक वाई शेप्ड मॉलिक्यूल्स व्हिच फॉर्म इन रिएक्शन टू स्पेसिफिक एंटीजन Immunoglobulins are Y-shaped glycoproteins produced by differentiated B cells and these are the parts of plasma protein. Immunoglobulins play an essential role in immune response by selectively identifying and attaching to specific antigens like viruses or bacteria and helping their elimination. Now, let's understand the structure of antibodies. Antibodies are Y-shaped structures consisting of four polypeptide chains. two heavy chains of amino acid and two light chains of amino acid here blue color chain represents the heavy chain and green color chain represents the light chain each chain has two reasons variable reason and constant reason denoted with letter v and letter c now light chain is divided into two parts variable reason and constant reason the upper part of the chain shows the variable reason of light chain and bottom part of the chain shows the constant reason of light chain heavy chain is divided into four parts the distal part of the chain shows the variable reason of heavy chain and proximal three parts of the chain shows the constant reason of heavy chain numbered 1 2 and 3 heavy chains are bound to each other by disulfide bonds heavy chain and light chain are also bound to each other by disulfide bonds heavy chains differ in all antibodies and are of five types namely alpha gamma mu delta and epsilon whereas light chains are of two types kappa and lambda and they are same in all antibodies one antibody have two antigen binding sites present in between heavy chain and light chain in variable region of antibody the variable region of antibody decides to which antigen the antibody will react whereas the constant region of antibody decides to which cell surface the antibody will bind now let's understand the different types of immunoglobulins along with their functions our body produces five types of immunoglobulins namely igg igm iga ige and igd These immunoglobulins are distinguished by the presence of a type of heavy chain in them. If we talk about the composition of antibodies in the human body, IgG accounts for about 75% of antibodies in the blood. IgM accounts for 10%, IgA accounts for 15%, IgE accounts for 0.01% and IgD accounts for 0.5% of total antibody in the blood. Now let's discuss each Ig in brief along with its structure and function. Immunoglobulin G. These are the most abundant antibody present in our body. IgGs have gamma type of heavy chains present in it. The molecular weight of IgG is 150,000 daltons. There are total 2 antigen binding sites present in IgG. The structure of IgG is monomeric. Half life of IgG is 25 days. IgGs are classified into four subclasses namely IgG1, IgG2, IgG3 and IgG4. The action mechanism of IgG is complement mediated destruction of the foreign cells. Since IgGs are small in size so they can easily cross blood vessels and placenta so it protects the growing fetus against infection. IgGs are mainly responsible for humoral immunity. Immunoglobulin A. The molecular weight of IgA is 160 kilodaltons. IgA has alpha type of heavy chains present in it. IgA has four binding sites present in it. It can exist in both either monomer or dimer form. The half life of IgA is 6 days. IgA is classified into three subclasses. namely IgA1 IgA2 and IgA3 IgA is generally present in body fluids such as saliva tears sweat etc IgA prevents foreign substances or antigens from entering the human body 
it activates the alternating complement pathway. Immunoglobulin M IgM is the largest immunoglobin present in human body. It has new type of heavy chains present in it. The molecular weight of IgM is 900 kilodaltons. IgM has 10 antigen binding sites present in it. The half-life of IgM is 5 days. IgM is pentamerican structure. IgM is divided into two subclasses, IgM1 and IgM2. It is the first antibody produced after the invasion of a foreign body or antigen. IgM is the most efficient type of antibody against antigen. Immunoglobulin E IgE is present in minute quantity in blood. It has epsilon type of heavy chains present in it. The molecular weight of IgE is 190 kilodaltons. There are two antigen binding sites present in IgE. IgE have the lowest half-life of two days. The structure of IgE is monomeric. IgEs are mainly raised in people with allergies. IgE provides defense against parasites. The mechanism of action of IgE is that they bind with mast cells and cause the release of histamine. Immunoglobulin D IgD is present in very minimal amount in blood. IgDs have delta type of heavy chains present in it. The molecular weight of IgD is 180 kilodaltons. IgD have two antigen binding sites present in it. The half-life of IgD is 3 days. IgDs are present in monomeric form. IgDs have no significant roles in our body but it is believed that they are present on the surface of B cells and they help in B cell activation for the defense mechanism. So friends, that's all for today. If you find this video useful, do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.